good drift and it worked out good. I, I tend to drive faster if I've got a trailer on. Do that's you? not right. No, that's not right. Well, there's a lot of things about you that ain't right. I know it. That's part of your history. You know? That's why everybody loves you so much. Mm -mm -mm. But, but I hope they don't do like I do. Yeah. And they take me for an example. Not I have a lot of young kids that say, I want to grow up and be just like you. And I, I, me? I say, you know, you, you? you need to. Me. You, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would tell them. I said, y'all need to, y'all need to rethink your career path here. You know? Oh, I would love you know, to grow up like you. You don't know what I went through to get here. <laughs> yeah, it's the end though. It's the end product that's the best. I think you could just imitate somebody and get away with it. Must hmm. be easier. But anyway, I started all that just to say how peaceful it is here and how happy I am to be here. It's just perfect. We're sitting out here on the porch and the weather is nice and cool. And I can hear the birds chirping and. We got a little road out here every so often somebody passes by and stops to wave and talk about how the fishing is. And I hear I hear something sound like a loon off in the background there. There's lots of loons, I'm their king. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Well I have to say, I love listening to your banjo on the computer. Mm -hmm. But it is a thousand times better when you're sitting right beside you. <laughs> it is. Well, this ain't necessarily my best banjo, but it's one, thank you, it's one that I figured kind of special. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we started this talking about Dead Eye Dan and how we used to trade stuff. and We, we were kind of having this conversation about, you know, he's always saying that stuff at his house would look better at my house, and I was always saying the same thing. So we just always hauling stuff back and forwards. And, that led us to what we're doing here. I'm going to haul you my whole garage full of extra Volkswagen parts and then I'm going to haul back that little crossing, which I think is just, I liked it before I ever knew what it was like to drive it, but now that I've driven it, I like it a hundred thousand times better. That is so fun. I thought you'd be, so I was afraid fun. that it wouldn't be all you wanted. Well, I was the same way about that Volkswagen because I was, I was just thinking this old Volkswagen <laughs> stuff ain't nothing special, you know, and that Crosley is, but Shoot, that Volkswagen, that's a, a peak wagon right there, boy. <laughs> That'll stay with me forever. I think that, I know you got that pretty little yellow car out there, and I think that if you want to, you know, I feel you can drive that just like it is around around here and try not to kill yourself. Because <laughs> I've I seen how you drive already, and I know there's danger. But I figure you can drive it just like it is. Yeah. And then when you get ready for something more, you can throw it on that other one. Or you might just decide to use that one as a pattern and pick, take that spare motor and fix up another one of these. You know, that little pearl there is a, that's a, that's a cute one. I, I had one of that year. And I love that car. Yeah. Is that a 69 or a 68? I think it's a 70. Those are good cars. Cause and that's a super beetle. They got the looks, they got the right look. Yeah. And they got the late model, you know, stuff, suspension and transmission and everything. It makes them really good to a good driving car, but it's a good looking car too. Oh yeah. I like it just like it looks. Yeah. Sets up good and high. Yeah. It does. Have a nice stance. And you know, as easy as it is to take that motor out of that car, you can take that motor out of that car and stick it in front of the road around. I like I like what you built. I want to keep what yep. you've touched, I want to keep it kind of sacred to me. It's important and it's special to me. That's what I. That's how I. How I feel about stuff. It's been anointed with uh, oil. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I believe you've anointed lots of places with that. <laughs> Let me see if this thing's still running. You never know. These tubers, you know, you walk off and leave them, and they'll just go dead on you. Yeah, they're still there. So. All of that is then recorded into the annals of, the annals of history. Ooh, don't say anal. <laughs>